Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be talking about Airflow user authentication. Uh, as you can see, after nearly going through so many Stack Overflow posts and you know, um, had a lot of issues, finally after three hours, I figured it out what is the issue. After going through a lot of, again, GitHub posts, um, Stack Overflow, I finally understood how to make this work. And I want to share this in this video because other people do not waste time on this. So here is what you want to do, guys. Come here, first of all uh let's uh let's 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 come here so i'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to do so first of all come to the airflow config file um the first thing that you want to do is authenticate oh there you go a u t h e wait a u t h e n t i authenticate so first of all make sure you enable this to true okay it's a false by default and the auth backend you want to say airflow.contrib.auth.backend.password auth do that okay another thing then you have to enable our back was it our back our back yeah make sure you enable the our back to true once you do that you want to spin up your airflow containers here you can see i've already started the container now what you want to do guys is you want to go inside the running container so in order to do that because you have to uh, create a user right so a super user so you want to say oops you want to say docker container ls that would list you the wait what's going on with me today docker container ls that should work okay so grab the id and then say docker exec exec minus it paste the container and then you want to call the bash once you do that uh i guess this is to work for me oh, where did it go oh, right here so the one that works for me uh, after going through all the posts uh, was uh, what was a command so the guy said uh, to do this one and this works for me because i had our back enabled so now once you're in the running container just you want to paste it i already have created the user so it might give me an error or something but let's see so this is what you want to do and trust me this works for me so let it do its job uh, this would create the super user I'm assuming it's already there so you can see it already exists so that makes sense once that is done you can come over to the airflow um, ui and you can refresh now let's enter our admin admin login voila it's there so you see how easy it was so hopefully this tutorial would be useful for people who are struggling with airflow and if you did enjoy this tutorial give a thumbs up and keep smiling keep coding see you in the next upcoming airflow tutorials